Okay, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. As you can see, I've had some upgrades, which is nice. Um, but today we're talking Harry Potter and the despicable scumbags surrounding this franchise. Um, for clarification, I am not a fan of Harry Potter. I have never been a fan of Harry Potter. I've never read the books. The only experience I have with this franchise is witch training and being forced to watch the first movie in school. Just me? Maybe? Maybe not? Um, but um, yeah, um, Harry Potter. So now you know where I stand. I'm not a fan. I read a lot of different books growing up, and by the time I got around to Harry Potter, I'd outgrown it. Um, I'd read much more complex and more interesting fantasy novels. So that's that's me, okay? Now, um, Harry Potter's got a video game coming out. Huh? Cool? I think it's cool. Um, and the um, video game is getting a lot of attention, both good and bad. Um, now, it's... it's Look, I'm never going to play this game. But it's... Uh, well, hang on. Well, I'll, I'll recant that for now. Put that on a shelf. So this game... It's open world, it's graphically very impressive, it's been, you know, it was revealed a couple, like a year or two ago, it built a lot of hype up, a lot of Harry Potter fans are ex extremely excited to finally play a good video game. Um, I guess this is to Harry Potter fans like the Arkham games were for me initially, um, and you know, that's that's really cool. I'm, I'm very happy for um, the Harry Potter fans. However, there are some people out there who are not happy about this, um, and they call themselves Harry Potter fans, which is the weirdest part, and they are harassing people, they're trying to get this game cancelled, they are doing their best to um, attack people online, etc., and they're just miserable cunts, honestly. That's what it is. You're miserable cunts. So, apparently J.K. Rowling, I don't know how to say her name, but, you know, the billionaire with more money than the royal family, um, apparently said some things that people don't agree with. Um, I don't know. I don't use Twitter. I don't care. I do not care. She's a billionaire. Nothing I say or do or you say or do or anyone says or do can affect her in any way, shape or form. She is swimming in her money with a monkey butler and all sorts of crazy stuff. You have no idea. She's she's barely human anymore with the amount of money she has. And, um, you know, people are upset about this. And obviously she wrote this book that they love. And the thing about Harry Potter fans that people have to understand is they've only ever read one series of books and they've made it their entire identity. Like they base their whole identities around what a hat in a book told them they are. It's very, very strange. Um, so they're already unhinged people, uh, but these Harry Potter fans are the unhinged of the unhinged. And like I said, it's very, very sad. Um, I feel sad for these people. I really do. Um, that's, that's just it, you know? I feel sad for these people. And they're attacking people, and they're, they've, there's millions of people that signed a petition, and all sorts of BS, and the game shouldn't exist, etc. And get a fucking life. You know, I'm so tired of, I'm so tired of all of this virtue signaling BS. And here's, here's my big takeaway from this Harry Potter thing uh, that a lot of people need to sort of realize and understand, okay? For years now, certain media outlets and, and companies, etc., have been championing the cause. The cause, guys. The cause. And now, when it's going to affect their bottom line, because this is one of the most profitable video games in 2023, and they need all the revenue that they can get from writing articles about it and reviewing it, you know, that's exactly what they're choosing to do. For once, for once, these companies are actually going to do their jobs. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, and they've gone, well, we can't champion this time because it's going to hurt our dollar. We're not going to profit 
if we if we champion if we don't champ like what are we meant to do and so as every fucking company does on the planet of this fucking like on the face of this fucking planet they chose profit guys yeah that's right profit over you because i hope the people who are complaining the despicable losers who are arguing about something so pathetic um who go if i don't like it you can't like it either those people okay they've just been stepped on again like i hope they wake up and they realize it didn't do anything the game still sold millions before it even came out it's going to continue to sell millions whether they play it or not right and and the sad thing is these people want their cake and they want to eat it too like they don't want to make the sacrifice necessary so um it, it's just pathetic like they don't have a backbone <laughs> they don't have a lot of bones but uh they don't have a backbone in this in this one right and so they're just going to attack everyone and and they're not mad at you for enjoying harry potter they're mad at themselves because they enjoy Harry Potter and um, they want to play this game, but they're conflicted. Okay? That's that's what it is. Just play the game. Have fun with it. Um, but on top of that as well, they're mad because they don't want to make the sacrifice. Like all of these people, 99% of the people campaigning on Twitter, etc. right now and telling you, like, telling you you're a horrible person, I've got a little secret for you. Okay? You listening? They're going to play the game as well. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, yeah, that's true. They are. They're going to play the game as well. This happens every time. They they just want to shout and scream on the internet and pretend like they're important for once in their miserable lives. And they're not. It's just a fucking video game and it's just a fucking book. That's it. That's That's what it is. Come at me. Um, and so it's just really sad when I see like creatives, like crying on streams and I see companies like putting out statements like, oh, oh, but before we review the game, we must discuss the bigger picture as if it makes any difference and they're doing it for anything other than their bottom line for their profit line. It's pathetic. And so if you're one of these people, all right, who are like, oh, I'm going to boycott all these journalists, etc. Boycott them in June when they put rainbow avatars on all of their Western-only accounts, specifically the Western accounts. Don't look at their Eastern accounts, right? Don't And their Middle East accounts. Don't look at any of those. Just look at their Western accounts and, and remember that the same people who are putting these rainbow avatars on and telling you that they, they're for your cause, those same people reviewed Harry Potter because it was going to make them a fuck ton of money. Remember that. And then realize that everything you're doing is just making you look like an idiot and won't have an effect on anything on this fucking planet.